Hi, good afternoon, everybody. I will give a small presentation about SBE, about how we use Idea Statica in our projects and what we would like to see added or improved. So we are an engineering consultancy company, which deals with a lot of complex problems in several domains, such as industrial buildings, civil engineering, and many others. I am a project engineer at the steel department, so I get to design steel structures and its connections. And from 2017 onwards, we are also using Idea Statica for our connection design. In this example, which is an industrial hall for Yumicore, uh, we did the design of the trusses with Idea Statica. In dialogue with the steel constructor, constructor, a connection with plates at the outer sides of the beam and the diagonal was chosen to facilitate the assembly. So our standardized tables and Excel spreadsheets were no longer sufficient and we had to search for other ways to check our connection design. Um, this is also an important project to us. It's the new building for the European Medicine Agency. Um, after the Brexit, the EMA had to move from London to Amsterdam and a new building had to be built. So here we come. Um, so at the ground level, an open floor plan was required. So the columns could not proceed until the foundation level and trusses had to be foreseen so that they could support the columns. So we did the design of these trusses and the floor beams. For the most connections of the floor beams, the calculations were done by hand, but for the more complex geometries where we had a lot of eccentricities and non-perpendicular connections, um, Idea Statica was more appropriate. For example, this uh, node where three trusses had to be connected to one column. We had also several nodes which, ha which had a difficult geometry and where the hand calculations didn't, were not sufficient. So we recalculated them using Idea Statica and we obtained more efficient results. Um, also, the stiffness of the connection has a large influence on the forces in the bolts and the stress distribution in the welds. So we could obtain more accurate results. Another project that I would like to discuss is the Austerwil connection. Around the city of Antwerp, one of the largest infrastructure projects in Belgium is planned. And part of this project consists of building a new tunnel underneath the river De Scheldt. And a deep construction pit had to be constructed for the access ramps to this tunnel. So in order to guarantee the stability of these deep retaining walls, steel frames were added at different levels, which are um, steel girders that are placed against the retaining walls and steel tubular piles in between. And the normal forces in these tubular piles go up to 35 kilonewton, 1,000 kilonewton, sorry. So at the end walls, um, these tubular piles arrive at an angle of 45 degrees. So part of the normal force had to be transferred in a shear force in these girders by pure contact. So we add a lot of stiffeners. The other part is transferred as a normal force. Therefore, large steel plates are welded onto the flanges and can serve as a shear key. For the straight tubular piles, uh, shim plates were added which are the orange plates in the figure. Um, this was both for tolerance reasons as well as to facilitate the removal of the tubular piles. But this implicated a very much reduced contact surface and it complicated the manual calculations. So Idea Statica was used. So we think it's a quite powerful program. Uh, we still have some issues in the workflow. Um, for example, when you open old files in newer versions or when files are open simultaneously, they can be overwritten. So that's a bit of a problem. Um, we are also looking to further optimize our connection design and the new feature of the checkbot 
is helping us, but we are still struggling with the limits of the data size and also its limited flexibility. Uh, of course, we also have some issues of functionalities that we'd like to see improved. Um, the automatic extraction of forces is already present, but we'd like to have a bit of more of control so that we, we have a lot of members in one node. The calculation time isn't too high. Um, we would also like to see the implementation of surface and line nodes. And for the workflow, mostly we model the connections ourselves, but if we have very special geometries, we also use the BIM link. So we think it's great that you're considering new ways of making the construction design more efficient.